then Arduino Uno. We need a ABR IoT development board, jumper cables, and sensors. So this one is the uh, BME280 sensor, uh, which is responsible for uh, collecting the temperature and humidity. And this one is a uh, heart rate sensor uh, that is responsible for collecting the uh, heart rate in BPM and the uh, SpO2 level of of the blood. So. Uh, since uh, this two supports I2C communication, so we connect uh, them together using jumper cable. And here is the in points. So first of all, we uh, connect the sensor with our Arduino Uno. Uh, so this is the let's connect. The red one is the 3.3 volt. So we connect it with uh, a 3 point uh, 3 volt uh, that one is 3.3 3 volt and we have the ground so we connect it to the ground point of Arduino and we have uh, the clock SCL which is connected to the SCL point pin of Arduino and the SDA pin of Arduino. So we connect the sensors with Arduino and we now connect this uh, uh, Arduino with, uh, with the board. So first of all, we have connect the uh, UART communication since so we use uh, pin number actually the TX pin is uh, PC0 and PC1. So we connect uh, PC0, this one with PC0, I think that one is PC1 and with this one is with PC0 and uh, we need to power up the Arduino board from here as a result we connect it to the ground point and to the 5 volt I think I missed the 5 volt okay that one is the 5 volt the 5 volt and the ground white is the ground so now the ground which one is the white is connected with the ground pin of the Arduino and so I made a mistake here no ground ground and with the beam we connect with the pin of the 5 volt to power up the Arduino uh, from this board and uh, the green one is uh, the RX RX connect to the TX and the blue one is the uh, RX of Arduino which is the TX of uh, ABR board so that's all. The, our connection is complete. Now we power up the device using the USB uh, charger or USB cable and we can check the device later. This is our final device. So here uh, two sensors are there and we have Arduino inside here, the Arduino Uno is there and we place some cardboard uh, to mount this device, very nasty wiring and here's the ABR board. So let's uh, power it up. So we need a USB cable uh, for powering this uh, device and replace our finger over there uh, like this way uh, during the measurement. So this sensor measures the heart rate and the SpO2 level and this sensor measures the temperature and humidity. So once we 
uh, put our fingers like this on top of these two sensors and it also automatically measures this information and send them to the cloud. application on our mobile so if we open this application uh, so and then we need to uh, input the ID and password so our ID is very simple it's uh, simple the hex star at the rate of gmail.com dot uh, com and the password is very simple then import from the login so after login uh, here we see uh, some patient informations are there uh, so since we have only one device so one of the patient is connected to the device others are not connected they are show some uh, uh, dummy data so if we are going to check the information about the Jenny, if we click the Jenny, uh, we see uh, his health information are, are there. It's actually the dummy data, uh, so it's not connected with the uh, device. Uh, so if we go back and we can see the John, the John is actually connected to the device. So at this moment it says NAN, that means not a number, it cannot receive any data from this device. So first of all we need to power it up and then come back to the John again. So device is currently off, so let's power it up. So we power it up the device. You can see the red uh, LED and already the device is powered up and we have the ABR microcontroller which is already uh, power up so it takes some time to connect the cloud so after connecting the cloud we see when once we place this finger over there uh, you can see the information about the john let's put the fingers and take the information about the john uh, still it's not connected with the cloud uh, yes now it's connected with the cloud you see the temperature and the humidity and the heart rate and the SpO2 of mine. So if we go back again, if we uh, check the John again, you see the information is about the John. So if we turn off the device, actually what's happened is we turn it off and then if we go back and we're gonna check the information again. Uh, now, uh, no informations are there because the device is uh, turned off. And if I go to the other's information, I saw the dummies information. So that's all about our uh, application and the device. Uh, thanks for watching.